Okay, welcome back. This is day one of the closer course, and we're really excited. And Dad, would you mind uh, starting us off, taking us through? Well, one of the most important things we have to establish in any organization is a common purpose, often decided as a mission. That becomes the central point of what we're all there about. And Club V has a mission, which is we exist to help athletes achieve. What does that mean? So I think for us, what we were trying to do is we sat down as a leadership group and we said, what is it at the end of the day? Because it can't just be about volleyball for us. We wanted to make sure that athletes learn how to achieve anything. We want them to be able to walk out with the formula of success so that way when they go to higher learning school or when they're in jobs or when they are in relationships or whatever the case is, that they know how to achieve. And I think ultimately at the end of the day, we want every single person in Club E, I think that's a goal of the parents. They want their kids to achieve something. As coaches, we want our players to achieve something. And so that to us just seemed to be a kind of a logical mission that got us all really excited because it wasn't just about winning volleyball matches. It's about learning how to become a better version of yourself. So part of your, your mission here is to help athletes achieve in life. Yeah, absolutely. Another important part of every organization that is unified is they have to have a common set of core values. See, relationships can handle and endure any obstacle except incompatible, irreconcilable values. So what are your values? So here for us, we've got four values that we've talked a lot about that we really believe in. First being we wanted to have a family environment where Again, everybody that's a part of Club E, those parents, those athletes, and our coaches feel like this is this is their home away from home, and yet we have those relationships where we are bettering each other, where we can be honest, where we can help each other. And it's not just a place where everybody is getting told what they want to hear, but that we're really working through, we're, we're real with each other. And another part of that is we believe in being relentless. So meaning when we set a goal, we don't care what it takes, but we're gonna accomplish that goal. We're gonna work extremely hard to get it done. Uh, we also believe in a growth mindset. We wanna be lifelong learners. We wanna take on challenges and just be engaged in that learning process. And then we also believe in being fierce, meaning the way we go about how we compete, how we do things is, which is a great amount of focus and intensity. And I think if every single person in Club B adopts these values and lives by these values and we're all understanding them, I think we'll all thrive, we'll flourish together. And that to me is really exciting. Those are two of the most fundamental things we can do. We know that organizations, in order to be able to be effective together, they need to have a common set of values, standards, they need a common set of skills and principles that guide their behavior. So much of the stuff that comes after this we will, be, we will be bringing in material from four areas of study. Relationship information, we'll be talking about problem solving, we'll be talking about conflict resolution, and we'll also be dealing with coaching skills. And we will have a whole lot of different things on that. And out of that, we'll end up with a common way to describe what we're doing so that we're all on the same page when we decide to problem solve deal with relationships and whatever. So, and this all works very closely with your mission to help our kids succeed in life. So your job at home is simply this. What is it that you want to achieve? I think we can't help you achieve at Club E. We can't give you our resources unless we know first what is it that you want to achieve. The more you can communicate that to us, the better. And then second is give us your understanding uh, what those values are. How can you have a better growth mindset? How can you turn Club E into a more family environment? How can you be relentless? What is, what's it going to take to be relentless? And what's the attitude needed 
to be fierce in accomplishing these goals. Because if you can do this work today, it helps us as an organization, I think it help you achieve, and then we can all get on that collaborative, synergistic relationship together. Super. Our next session, we're gonna talk about Maslow's hierarchy of unfulfilled needs, because every child is gonna come into this organization with unfulfilled needs as driving their behavior. And we all need to understand what those needs are and be part of the solution in helping those needs get fulfilled. The next session after that, we're gonna talk about the different types of relationships and the, and the type of relationships we want to have in this organization and the type of ones we don't want to have. And we'll also give you the tools to profile relationships to see what we have and where we are. Excited. <laughs>